good day and welcome back to the channel so today i want to go over everything that was involved in me fitting these massive tires that i have on my truck on my truck right now so we're going to go over their bfg all-terrain ko2s where's the size on them they are a 285 65r20 which equivalents out to a 34 and a half. So what I did was, is not gonna be able to see it, but I installed a leveling kit. Okay, so it's a two inch level. It brought the truck up, sat perfectly level. Now, I test fitted them again after I put the leveling kit on and it was still, Still a big no, not gonna happen. Rubbed way too bad, too hard, still couldn't turn. Um, so what I had to do was I had to do what they refer to as the NorCal mod. Now, don't get angry, I know my truck is dirty, but so what you do is you first you take the tire off, get it out of the way. Take all the T15 torque head screws out. I only took them up the side of the fender up to here. I took a piece of wire, I tied it to my coil spring. I took this plastic cover off. And then this is where people get upset. Okay, I took an angle grinder and I cut from the edge of the fender over to here. I peeled it down. You take a hammer. You smash it in, then you cut out your pinch weld for about like six inches of your pinch weld. You cut it out, get it out of the way, and then you fold that up. So I've been driving it a couple days like that, and I was like, yeah, you know what? Okay, so let's check let's check the rubbing issue. Let's see if it's still rubbing and uh, whatnot. So this morning I checked and it was still rubbing. So all I did was I took a couple zip ties, I put a hole in the fender liner right here. I don't know if you can see that. But all I did was I took the zip tie and I strung it around my uh, cab mount. Zip tied it back, no rubbing whatsoever. I'm very pleased. This is one downfall to not having an actual lift in your truck and running this big of a tire. Aside from the rubbing and cutting up your brand new truck, right? That hurt my brother's feelings astronomically. He was so hurt. He doesn't understand why I did it. He went on and on for two days being downright nasty with me for cutting my truck up. Man, it's only a truck. I can replace the fenders if need be. You know, it's not a big deal. But one thing I am concerned about is the gap in my rear tire. It's the same on both sides. Um, I mean, it's not a super big deal. I don't haul a lot of stuff. I mean, so it's not like a big deal, but occasionally I do pull things and they can be a little heavier than need be. But other than that, that part is good. And um, the ride quality, actually isn't bad at all um i noticed going from a highway tire to an all-terrain tire the ride quality was a little bit different um seeing as the highway tire is more of a rounded tire and these are more of a flat um it's a little more a little jerkier to say the least um but other than that it's not it's not horrible. I mean, it's drivable. It's go drive, stops, goes as it pleases. Um, one thing I do want to bring up is the transmission. I don't think my transmission is as quite happy with these tires as I am. Um, sometimes the truck recalibrates itself. It's done it about four times since I've had the tires on, where the speedometer is how it's supposed to be and then every other time I'm out anywhere from five to ten kilometers an hour driving not a super big deal 
can be a little inconvenient, but it is what it is. You know, it's uh, the game you play when you put bigger tires and everything on your truck. Some things take a hit harder than others. So, but we're going to see how long everything lasts and we're going to go from there. But the ride qualities is still the same. I do know when these tires wear out, I will get uh, some smaller smaller tires. I'll probably stick with the 285s, but they'll probably be a two. They'll be a 55 instead of a 65 R20, um, maybe a 305 55 R20. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go all terrain or I'm going to go street performance. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't decided the full look of the truck or the way I want the truck to look when I'm all set and done. I'm kind of really digging the look of it right now. Um, I'm probably going to rock this for a long time. There's a few things I got to fix. Like I want to do my exhaust. I want to put a different exhaust on it. My tailgate light bar is completely shot. My brake stop reverse the turn signal. It's 95% of the way burnt out. Um, I do want to do headlights and taillights and a third brake light. I'm trying to find OEM stuff to play with. I'm not having any luck with that. But in time, things will change and things will get done to it. But it is a process and it all does take time. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wrap my bumpers in my grill or I'm going to have to spend the time and get them painted. I was hoping to find a wrap that was close enough to my factory deep ocean blue metallic and we could go that route. I don't really want to paint them because as of right now the chrome with the way the truck is set up it actually does look really good. I'm just not a super big fan of chrome. But let's take another quick overview of the truck. So here it is. They stick out about an inch and a half. Your truck does get extremely dirty with a setup like this. But guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch up with you in the next video. Thanks for watching.